to sleeping with Alan. I'm in Cote d'Ivoire today, and I'm staying at the Habib Hotel, and it's classified as a boutique hotel. Two floors of rooms. I think it's about 60 rooms. Um, price point pretty good. Um, it's about around 120 for a standard room, 120 ringgit. Um, I got this for free using my Agoda points. Uh, what do I think? First of all, the room. The room is okay. Um, supposed to have been refurbished, but still feels a bit dated. It's a bit of a musty smell in the room, but it doesn't quite bother me. Um, coffee making facilities, uh, coffee and tea making facilities in the room. There, the bathroom is clean. Um, don't quite like the shower, but it's okay. As long as it's clean, that's important. Um, white clean towels, um, the air conditioning works. <laughs> um, quite thing about the hotel, it has this really weird lift. Uh, it's more like a closet that goes up and down. Watch this video and you'll know what I'm talking about. is included. Uh, breakfast, pretty good selection of local Klantanese uh, food for breakfast. Means rice. Uh, there's also of course your toast, your beans, your eggs, the usual stuff. Um, all in all, service is pretty good. They were really helpful and wanted them to print out my boarding pass, did it for free, no problem. Um, friendly and uh, really no complaints about the stuff. Um, hotel, uh, would I want to stay here again? Not too sure. Um, but if you compare with most hotels in uh, Cote d'Ivoire, this is a better hotel. Unless you're going to pay for the five-star um, Renaissance Hotel. Yeah, that's of course but most of the other hotels in Cote are actually quite bad, you know, badly maintained, badly kept. But, um, so, this isn't too bad. So, there you go. My take on the Habib Hotel in Cote location is good. It's in the middle of town. You've got all the tourist sites within walking distance. So, that's a good point. Um, besides that, uh, like, share, subscribe. And join me on my next edition of Sleeping with Alan. Until then, bye-bye.